I'm Warthog Princess and welcome to another video, Trying New Things. Thank you to Rosa who suggested I check out Bagalini. I had heard of them before but I had never actually touched or felt or looked at their site or shopped them. But I did find a few things to give a try, so here goes. Um, this is the Cosmetic, oh I don't know the name of this pattern, hang on, maybe it says. Mm. Nope, I do not know the name of the pattern. Sorry. Yeah, but it is, you can find it on the website. I just thought it kind of reminded me of Tropical Fog from Lug, except different colors. Obviously it has some other pieces as well, but kind of like the ferny look to it. So it's kind of tropical. It's pinks and blues and peach. But this is a cosmetic. It has two pouches. You have the main pouch. It is sort of one of those triangular shape ones, narrow at the top and wide at the bottom. But it's a good size. I think this will be a great accessory in like my navy blue um, Vera Performance Twill or something like that. Just kind of fun. Might also go with the Heather Gray because it's kind of a gray blue there. But okay, so main pouch inside it has three slip pockets on it. So. There's two on the sides that are kind of small and a little bit bigger one in the middle, but the side ones are there. And that's it, it's pretty straightforward. It is very wipeable interior. It's not plasticized. It's not really nylon necessarily. I don't know which it is, but I mean, it's nice. It's a nice bag. Then on the outside, you have another pocket and this one's clear view. So you can have stuff out there as well. This material that the bag is made from, it reminds me a lot of, not quite lighten up, but sort of like lighten up um, it, it, or reactive. This is very similar, but it's like better quality than the reactive. It's not so thin. Um, it's not quite as slicky as the lug bags. So it's not quite as slick, but yeah, no, it's very nice. I think it's great, so. This is interesting too, like the zipper pull here is a ribbon and here it's the metal wavy thing, which is actually very comfortable to grab the zipper pull. So I think it's great. So that's the cosmetic and I got a matching wet dry bag set, you know, for travels. And, and it has pineapples on the zipper pulls. So these are faux leather zipper pulls and they have silver embossed on them. I just haven't figured to unwrap it yet. But there's your clear pocket, essentially. So it's kind of like a clear view envelope from Lug, except the fabric on the top, not, not on both ends. But there you go, it's about the same width. And then the wet bag is just plastic lined, like milky white plastic, but very definitely the wet bag. Very simple, just a pouch. So you can put your swimsuit or dirty kid's clothes if they had an accident or something. You know, whatever, you can use them for travel. I think they'll be great for travel because then if your lotion spills or whatever, then you can just put it in there. Um, you could put your dirty unmentionables in there. It's big enough for a lot of that. Obviously, I have a lot of ditty bags from Vera Bradley. So I do use those for a lot of similar functions, but sometimes the skinny pouches are just a better fit. Like maybe you want a, a few different pouch type things in your backpack or something. So you don't always want a slouchy cinch um, ditty bag. The other thing I got, I got two of these because the dimensions online were slightly misleading. I mean, I thought these were just slightly bigger and it's just a zipper pouch. It's basically the same as this pouch. You know, it's just a pouch, very simple, um, except slightly different material, but I got a black one and then this other patterned one. I don't know if you can see the pattern there. It's black with like some gray floral overtone on it. But I, I opened one up and then I wrapped it back up because I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these. I thought they were slightly bigger, big enough to accommodate eight and a half by 11 paper or folder. That's what I thought. Because I thought for traveling, sometimes, you know, uh, because they are a wet bag, they will keep them dry and protect your paper. So you can put your papers inside of the bag and then, you know, it can get banged around in, you know, your backpack or whatever. Or if it's in your check bag, you know, it's just wet protection for it. So if the bag got totally soaked, it would protect your paper. I don't know. I have ideas, like sometimes weird things. But, um, but I thought they would also be useful for other things. Same as for this pouch, it's just bigger. 
but um, it turns out they're just an awkward size. So it even shows like, yeah, you can put wet towels, trunks, swimsuits, yeah. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these or if I'm gonna return them or sell them or gift them maybe. I don't know yet. More to come on that someday. But for the moment, I'm really excited about these pieces because these will supplement um, really any of my travel bags very nicely. So, all right, that's it for this one, Bagolini. And I ordered more Jujube yesterday because they came out with a Disney pattern. So if you like Jujube or Lug and those types of pouches and things, um, and you like Disney, check it out. They have a new, it's dark background with a bright colorful florals on it and Mickey's all around, so really cool. All right, that's it for this one. Take care, bye for now.